How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle against Dino in the OU tier from the Discord server. Looking at his team, he's got a Cleavor, a Cerulege, Breloom, Dragapult, Iron Valiant and an Empoleon. A pretty solid team. Definitely going to watch out for that Breloom with the Spore. Um, we do have a Spore Absorber and as long as the Toxic Orb is activated, another Spore Absorber in Gliscor. Um, I think they lead off with Breloom, expecting us to lead off with the Politoed. So I'm tempted to lead off with the um, the uh, Tornadus. Definitely tempted to lead off with the Tornadus here. I think I will do that actually. It's a good lead. Like I said, I think they're going to expect the Polito lead and lead off with a Breloom and then put something to sleep. So let's just do that. And the battle begins. So Dino is going to lead off with Cleavor as ex not expected, but I suppose that makes sense as we lead off with the Tornadus now. This thing could be Scarfed with Stone Axe for all I know. Probably not, but it could be. So I think we need to go into Gliscor here just to take the hit. Um, the Stone Axe is definitely coming. Because they can definitely live a hurricane from this uh, tornado, that's for sure. So we'll go into Toxicity, the uh, Gliscor. There we go. Sponge up a Stone Axe, which they do go for. And that still does half to us. That's crazy damage. Absolutely crazy damage, so... Stone Stealth Rocks are up. We do get poisoned, luckily, so we have another Spore Absorber now, which is great. Um, I want to go for another Stealth Rock here. I think Stealth Rock's a good shout. Um, I think getting the Stealth Rocks is a very good shout because their hazard clearance is limited unless they have Defog on Cleaver, which seems kind of pointless. So they go for another Stone Axe. They actually outspeed us as well, which is crazy. Uh, we go for a Stealth Rocks, get them up on our side of the field. Um, I, didn't, I thought we would outspeed as well, to be fair. Gliscor is pretty fast and nimble, but I guess not. So Poison Heal is going to take into effect, but it's not enough to the point where we're actually in a good position. So um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch into my fighting type, the Okie And um, We can definitely take a Stone Axe from, that, from this thing with that, because it is a resisted hit and we have naturally decent bulk. Um, so Okie Doki is going to come in. We are max HP, so like I said, we should sponge this hit, no problem. Even after Stealth Rock damage, we should sponge it as they go for another Stone Axe. And it still does a lot of damage. Cleavor is powerful, man. Cleavor is very powerful. So um, what we can do now is we go for a knockoff because they're probably going to go into either Cerule Edge or Dragapult expecting um, a close combat. Um, I don't think they go Iron Valiant, but if they did, we are Assault Vest, so we can definitely take a hit from that and go for a Gunk Shot in Retaliation. So I think knockoff is our best bet here. Um, they do withdraw the Cleavor. Are they going to go Cerule Edge or Dragapult? That would be nice. Um, Cerule Edge does come in, which is great. Cerule Edge comes in, which is great. We go for a knockoff. Nearly takes them out. Does pop their weak armor, though, which is unfortunate. But they haven't got a Swords Dance up, so it's not that big of a deal. So we're going to knock off their Heavy Duty Boots, which is great. If they didn't have Heavy Duty Boots, and if we had just a bit more power, we could have KO'd them then. Let's go for another knockoff, because I know we can take a bit of Blade, no problem. Um, definitely take a bit of Blade from this thing. Okie Dokie is very bulky. Very bulky physical attacker, that's, that's for sure. So, Knockoff's definitely going to take out this Cerule Edge this next turn. As Okie Doki takes another soul. Which is really good. So, Cerule Edge goes down. Uh, another soul. <laughs> it's not took out anything so far. In comes the Dragapult. So, this thing is obviously a threat. Dragapult is a threat. They aren't heavy duty boots, which is good to note. So, they're probably choice specs or something along those lines. I think Okie Doki could still be useful later on down the line. Um, but I think Gliscor is a bit more useful as a spore switch in. Okie dokie's kind of on its last legs, and they could also go for a Dragon Dance here if we're not careful. So I think I'm best off staying in and going for a knockoff. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So they go for a Shadow Ball. We're not going to eat this up, unfortunately, especially if they're specs. Um, we are Assault Vest, but no, we weren't taking a Shadow Ball. But it was better to lose the Okie dokie than this thing setting up a Dragon Dance on our faces. So um, I think we made the right play there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Polito, get the rain up. I think that's going to be important because um, Tornadus actually goes ham against their team, like big time. Big time goes ham against their team. So we'll get the Drizzle up and um, we'll just go straight for an Ice Beam here because there's nothing that really wants to switch in um, except the Empoleon potentially. So knowing that, do they stay in here? I think I'll go for an Ice Beam and just, just, I'll just make the right, I'll just make the safe play. So they do withdraw the Dragapult. Are they going to go Empoleon? Probably, right? Empoleon comes in, yep. So Empoleon's in. There we go. It's looking amazing. I love Empoleon in this game. It looks so cool. The metallic texture on the um, highlights of its armor look amazing. We got the freeze! 
Oh, wow, we got the freeze on the Empoleon. That is clutch. That is clutch. Okay, so now we have a free switch in with whatever we want to go into. I think my play here is to go Vika Vault, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. They don't have a ground type on their team, so we can just fire off Thunders like there's nothing new tomorrow. So let's go ahead and do that. Vika Vault comes in. Looking great. Stones are going to dig in, unfortunately. They stay frozen solid, which is fantastic. And now Vika Vault gets to fire off a Choice Specs boosted Thunder from a base 145 special attack. Crazy good. Crazy good situation for us to be in. Something's going to hurt here. They do withdraw the Empoleon. They're going to preserve it for later. And they're going to go Dragapult. Yeah, Dragapult comes in. It was Dragapult or Breloom was going to come in. Let's see how well Dragapult takes this Thunder. So Stealth Frox damage is there. Choice Specs boosted Thunder in the rain is going to do nearly enough to KO. That's good damage. That's good damage. So Vikavol can still be useful here because, like I said, if we get a free switch on that Empoleon... We are golden. Gliscor isn't doing much, though. So I think what I'll do is I'll sack off Gliscor. He got the Stealth Frox up. That counts for something. The Dragapult can't switch back out again. Because it'll lose its it'll lose from the Stealth Frox. So let's just see how this works for Gliscor here. So they go for a Draco Meteor. They miss. Which is unfortunate. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter that much. Because they can just Draco Meteor the next turn and still get a KO. So let's go for a knockoff just on the off chance they miss again. Because that would be funny if they did. They go for a Draco Meteor. They don't miss. And that's going to take out Gliscor. So there we go. Dra Draco Meteor is going to come in clutch for them there. Um, and takes out the Gliscor. So Dragapult gets a KO. Um, what can we do from here? So we could go Ogre Pond. Or we could go Tornadus. Tornadus also works pretty well here. Um, I think if they're locked in Draco Meteor, we should probably go Politoed again, right? So let's go Tornadus. Let's go Tornadus. Good old Birdnado over here. There we go. We know we can take any hit this Dragapult was throw at us, especially now that it's uh, crippled a bit. Um, they probably go into the uh, Empoleon. If they don't, then U-Turn still KOs the Dragapult, so it's not a big deal. So I'm going to go in for the U-Turn. They do go for another Draco. We are going to eat that up, though. They got a crit. They got a crit! That's not fair! Tornadoes goes ham against their team, and they got a crit Draco Meteor. Are you kidding me right now? That is unfortunate. So what do we do here? Um, I'd say we go uh, uh, Ogre Pond. What if they get another crit Draco, though? They're clearly on a crit roll. The hacks is real in this game today. We've got a crit against us again on the Tornadoes. We've got a freeze on the Empoleon. So Politoed is specially defensive, so we may as well go into Politoed real quick. There we go. Get some Stealth Frog damage, which is unfortunate. <laughs> I could be real chaotic and go for a Haze and get rid of its load special attack drop. That'd be funny. Um, now we're gonna go for a surf. They probably stay in for the damage. They do. They miss the Draco. Draco gonna miss like that. It's fair enough. So we go for a surf. That's gonna take out the Dragapult. Hacks is real this game. I mean, you, you can't really predict it, can you? You can't predict the hacks. That's for sure. So they've still got Breloom, Cleavor, Iron Valiant, and a Frozen Empoleon. So pretty solid looking team so far. So Empoleon's gonna come in right now. I think we need Politoed as a special defensive Pokemon for the Iron Valley, and we can definitely take a Thunderbolt from it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into Vika Vault and hope they don't D4. There we go, going to withdraw the Drip, and I'm going to go straight back out into Vika Vault. Um, Vika Vault, if it's going to take out anything this game, it's going to be the Empoleon. Um, provided they don't D4, of course, which they don't, which is great. So they remain frozen solid, which is great. So now the rain is going to stop, which means we could very well miss this Thunder. But I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm going to go for it anyway, just on the off chance we can hit it. If we don't hit it, so be it. They withdraw the Empoleon, which is fair enough. What are they going to go into, though? Breloom. Okay, Breloom makes sense. It's a grass type. It resists the electric typing. Makes a lot of sense. We break a potential Focus Sash. Can we hit the Thunder? That'd be nice. We do hit the Thunder, which is great. And that nearly takes out the Breloom. And it gets the Paralysis as well. Gets the Paralysis as well, which is crazy good. So... Do we outspeed here? I think we do, right? Because Vika Vault is very slow. Very slow. So, if we outspeed, we're golden. If we don't outspeed, we're not so golden. What do we do here? Let's, let's just try it. Let's see if we outspeed. I, can't, I don't want to do the, I don't want to do the calc. So, we hit a Thunder again, which is crazy good. They missed two Draco Meteors, and we hit two Thunders without the rain. Breloom goes down. That's cr what a game. What a game so far. This is crazy. In comes Cleavor, so Vikavolt's done its best. It's done its best. 
but it's definitely not winning the game for us. So I say we go for another Thunder just to, just because why not? They're going to take us out of a Stone Axe, which they might miss. They go for the Stone Axe, takes us out. So there we go. So Vikavolt goes down. Didn't really have a switch in, so makes a lot of sense. Now I'm going to go into the Polito, the Drip, because Polito gets the rain up and all that wonderful stuff. So let's get the rain up real quick. There we go. The drizzles up. The drizzles up. And then we just go for a surf and take this thing out, hopefully. They might switch into a Polyon. They might just stay in. They do stay in. Stone Axe KOs us. Fair enough. It's fine. It's fine if it KOs us because we are still heavily Ogre Pond. If they're Choice Scarfed here, this kind of matters. So um, let's see how this works out for us. So Stealth Rock's going to dig in. Let's see if Ogre Pond can do this. So we'll go for an Ivy Cudgel. We're not going to Terra just yet. There we go. Ivy Cudgel comes through. Down goes a Cleavor. So there we go. Ivy, Ivy Cudgel comes through. So Cleavor comes through, goes down. And now we've got Empoleon and Iron Valiant to worry about. That's pretty much it. Empoleon comes in. Fair enough. Nice and frozen. Gotta love it. Some Stealth Rock damage as well, which is great. We go for a Horn Leech here just to get some damp some health back. Um, and hopefully this Empoleon stays frozen and then we can be at full HP versus the Iron Valiant. So they're actually going to Terra. What type are they going to Terra into? Something to resist fighting, I would guess, um, if they're going to Terra. So they Terra into a Flying type. So there we go. Flying type Empoleon is here. Looking good. We go for a Horn Leech. Obviously, it's not going to do much damage. It's still a decent, respectable amount of damage, to be fair. Um, and that's going to recover our HP back to full, which is great. They uh, do stay frozen solid, which is unfortunate. But what can you do about that? Um, if we went for a superpower there, we would actually be screwed because we'd have had lower attack and defense. Um, especially if the Iron Valiant is a physical attacker. That's where we've got to watch out. So let's go for the Ivy Cudgel and take this thing out. There we go. And that should take out the Empoleon. It does, which is great. So Ogapon's coming through for us right now. Ogapon is such a good Pokemon. Such a good Pokemon. Like with all the different masks and stuff. Oh my god, it's so cool. I love it. You love to see it. You love to see it. So now we've just got Iron Valiant left. So Iron Valiant the Spacey comes in. The Spacey? I haven't hit that one before. That's an interesting one. So they have already Terra, so we'd have to worry about Terra here. They are Booster Energy, which is going to boost their what? Speed? Speed was heightened. That doesn't matter because they outsped us anyway. We're going to Terra because they're probably going to Moonblast or Close Combat or something here. So we're going to Terra for the extra power on the Ivy Cudgel and also to give us a special defense boost to take a hit from this thing. Um, so let's go for it. Get that big mass going on. There we go. I didn't want to Terra earlier because I didn't want to be weak to the Thunderbolt. But now that I think about it, you get a special defense boost. So we should be all right even if the Thunderbolt here. Even if they Thunderbolt, we should be all right. So let's get a special defense boost real quick. There we go. As they go for a Moonblast, we're going to be able to tank that like it's nothing. There we go. Ivy Cudgel comes through. It's boosted by Terra. We definitely need the extra power against an Iron Valiant. Boom. Down it goes. And that's going to be the game. So GG Dino. That was a pretty fun one. I really enjoyed that one. There was a lot of hacks here and there. But, you know, it happens. It happens. Um, but, yeah, that's, that, that, that's the game. But, yeah, here's the team. If you want to try it out, go ahead and use the code at the top right corner of the screen. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching today's video. Please leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit. With that being said... <laughs>